It's home stretch time. Hope you guys are ready. Three matches today. We're not going to play them all out. We are going to look at highlights from each one. And as you can see, we are in seventh position. Vitesse has claimed one of the Euro Cup spots uh, by winning whatever uh, the Dutch Cup, I believe. So we are four points off the mark. We've won our last game, taking a look at that. We beat AZ 4-0. Melvin Gerber, our center back, with a brace. Vogel and Natumba with goals in this one. So we've done our part. The little slide right here, I think, is going to cost us in March. But we have three matches. So let's roll the intro. Let's get down to business today. We're going to take a look at highlights from Vitesse, RKC, and then we'll play out Heronveen, and hopefully we can uh, earn enough points to get back into that top four. Fingers crossed. Well, we meet a team in Vitesse that is extremely hot, just won the Dutch Cup, clinched a Euro Cup qualifying spot, not a team that we want to be up against. There was a good block by Samir. He came off his man, and it went right back to Huntelaar, and he put it in the net, putting us in a 1-0 hole. 65th minute, we were still in this, looking decent, but then a cross-up on Delcra. He can't get to it, and that made it 2-0. And at this point, I was thinking it was going to be a long day. Samir goes up at the near post, and he gets a pay raise in this game for reaching a number of games on his contract. A little bit of give and go. We're in the 77th minute, and another shot. Amrani beats Delcra 3-1, and I've pretty much lost all hope. And then they come back down, put more pressure. Gerver gets beaten, and... You know, these are our two best center backs. I mean, we had our number one club out there, and we're in a 4-1 hole. Vicario trying to – he hasn't been on the score sheet, but he puts a cross in. DeVries comes off the bench. He finds the net, making it 4-2. to two. But you can see we were outshot 21-14. to 14. We only had three shots on target. Samir gets a pay increase to 16000 a month, and we lose Calvin Grutunk for the rest of the season – uh, with a calf strain. So that's disappointing. So that's going to put a bind on our midfield. After that one, we now find ourselves still in seventh. We've got a big cushion there, but fourth, the top four slipping away. I'm not even sure we can get there. The most we can get to is 60 points with two games left. And we still have to play Heronveen. All right, we'll be back with more highlights in just a second. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Daily Football Manager content Monday through Saturday. Well, Gerber has officially handed in a transfer request uh, asking to move to a bigger club. Uh, he's only 18, starting center back, one of our key players. So we are definitely not considered a big club, no matter how high up the table we finish. We got a goal there, took a 1-0 lead. Watwick, three guys crowding two of our defenders. They equalize two minutes after our score, and the bottle job has officially begun. We had the better game with shots, not much in the way of on target, and that is not what we needed against a near bottom of the table side that's already been relegated that's that was horrible the good news is we can't fall out of seventh position but now the best we can do is to catch Ajax and they've got a much better goal differential so seventh position not what I was hoping just a few weeks ago Oh, we have signed a player, by the way. Uh, he will be joining us on July 1st. Uh, cost us $58,000. Pavel Bujitsky, 
Uh, he is a 19-year-old Czech winger, and he's pretty good looking. I like his physicals. He can actually cross the ball well, passing. So he's going to be in that mix, and we are going to probably look at having to sell a couple of guys in that position come the offseason, plus the guys Schroeder and Hossett going out. Well, not much to play for, so I guess we'll just come back for the last match here in just a second. Well, I've got to say, much of my interest in recording this episode uh, has gone by the wayside as we have just ended the season in a horrible run of form. Uh, I think March killed us. I thought we were coming back with that win over AZ, and then that just fell apart. Heron Veen, top of the t well, they were top of the table. They are now second. PSV has gone up as champions. They must have been on a big run lately. Let's see. What do we look at here? Second half of the stage. Oh, 10 points clear of everybody else. Yeah, they've just been dominant down the stretch. Ajax is up there. We were second for a little while, but we've fallen off to, to fifth, and that scene has tumbled down to seventh, unfortunately. But all in all, still not a bad season for us, right? So taking on Heronveen, we're going to go with Delcra and goal. Barisic, Gerber, Samir, Banachek on the back line. Could be Gerber's last match for us. As I just mentioned, uh, he has uh, asked to move to a bigger club. There's not many bigger clubs, but, you know, even AZ, who, you know, who we just beat, that's where our goalkeeper went. They're still a much bigger side than we are. We're going to put Sakalo in the mid here. Olivier, we do have... Uh, the injury to Grutunk, so he can't play. Thielmans is going to move out to the right wing today. Cervenka has been back for a few matches from his injury. Resnick's going to move inside. Vicario's going to get a start, and that puts Chris Natumba on the bench. But that's okay. Not a whole lot to play for. We can't finish anywhere but seventh. Uh, recent form, 13th position. That's been bad. We are at home, so we end up the season in our home crowd. Let's give them some encouragement. We're in the blue and white, Paravine in black, and gold, I suppose. Must have been an offsides there. Ooh, a little bit of pressing action by them, and they get the interception deep in our half. And we have been very susceptible. I'm going to have to give some thought as to what to do this offseason. I think we have very good players, just not at the level that we need to move up. Good block by Banachek. Not the, not the level that we need to move up to PSV to challenge for the league title. So this might be the year I have to give some serious thought to a uh, good move by Resnick. Where's Vicario? Give him a target, man. Laid off. Oh, a couple of passes and Gerard Olivier, his third goal of the season. Big goal. 1-0 to Grafschop in the seventh minute. That was a nice bit of ball movement. Resnick creating on his own. So, yeah, we may end up just having to go, you know, if I told it. So here's the thing. Gerver, he's got a $64 million release clause. So I said, if they, if they match your release clause, and he goes, that's way too much. Nobody's going to pay that. You need to be more reasonable. I said, you're the one that signed the contract with a $64 million release clause. Well, that's not fair, blah, blah, you know, typical player. Uh, doesn't want any responsibility for his actions. So we settled on, he, he would not take it. Oh, it trickled past, and we're up 2 nothing. Daniel Schmidt, an own goal. Oh, my goodness. Not exactly sure what happened there. And Thielmans is showing up with an injury. Potential lower leg injury, wants to stay on. I think we're going to pull him off. Let's put Shed a hole up there because this could be his last game. I, like I said, I, I'm not sure what we're going to do. But uh, so anyway, $32 million is the, the max I could get him to agree to. 
after several negotiations on that. And, um, I mean, I could still play hardball. He signed for three more years, I think. So we could hold out for $64 million for sure. But, uh, you know, 30, 30 million. Oh, big save. And he pushes it out of bounds. That was great. Um, so, yeah, we may have to look and see how much money we have in the bank after the season's over. Well, we'll do that next episode with the season review. Resnick into the box, gets it blocked. Cross in. Oh, my goodness. Vicario can't get it. Cervinka gets a chance. He can't convert. Big save by the keeper there. We're playing well. I mean, you know, if we could play like this all the time. But I think we're going to have to, this could be the year if we're going to give it a run that we're going to have to really spend potentially to a point where it could bankrupt us. And it, again, it depends on how much we've got in the bank. Because we're actually doing pretty well financially right now. And, and I try to be fiscally responsible. 2 nothing advantage at the half. Very good. Let's give them a shout of praise here. So that's kind of the thought process. Do I, do I really go above and beyond this year? Spend big. Raise the wage bill. and see if we can bring in some really, really strong players. If we can even get any players like that, that's the big question. I don't know. Ooh, that was horrible. That's the question because, I, you know, all of these players, you know, that we have that are really good are wanting to move to bigger clubs. So we're not going to have the draw power, and I don't know – how much we're going to see an improvement. There's a big ball in, and it's Vicario with number 24. He is back on the score sheet after being silent for a lot of the last 10 games. But he really showed, you know, my, my, my belief in him was not misplaced. Resnick not turning out to be the guy that we thought he would be. He's still really good. But again, he's now been shifted more to uh, rotation at the number two striker. And then on that right wing, you know. Let's make another sub here. And, and I, we just signed, I showed you a minute ago, that guy that we signed, that 19-year-old. He's going to be um, Macario, a thigh injury you know i'm not going to risk you getting hurt so let's bring on uh let's bring on hossig this will be his last game because he is leaving us at the end of the season he's already got a transfer arranged he doesn't have very good finishing but we'll we'll let him see it out so yeah i've got all these thoughts about what do i want to do Let's praise him again. And let's make our last sub now that we're in the 80th minute. Shedahull is not playing well, but you know what? We'll leave him in. Who hasn't played much down here? Vanderhorst. You know what? We just brought him back from a loan spell. He can play all three positions. He can actually play pretty decently. He can cross. Let's bring him on for let's bring him on for Banachek. Not sure this is I think this is his debut. But we'll get a little bit of a look at him. Offsides, nice. Three nothing. We're holding on. We've looked the better side here, which is surprising, giving our run of form lately. So I would be interested in what you guys would be thinking. Of course, I'm, I'm pre-recording a lot of these. So as soon as I finish recording this, I'm going to jump into the off-season, and we'll probably do the 
season review and transfers. I'll do that later today. Uh, here's Hossick. Beats his man. Big cross. Resnick is there, and he slots it home. Number six on the season. That's been real disappointing. He scored two goals in his debut, and I was expecting a huge season. And he just could not keep up that pace. I'm going to have to look at him. I may, I don't know, do I sell him? If I can get value for him, do I move him? I think he's really good, but Natumba might be the one that's out because he's already maxed out as a three-star player. But he plays well. I don't know. Servinka loses it. That's okay. Three minutes of stoppage time. So unfortunately, I won't be able to wait for your comments, but I will be interested to see what your thought is when uh, when this video goes up and you start looking at it and let me know what you think you would do, because I am interested. And even if I can't use that this season, it could give me something to think about in uh, in the next season, right? Knocked away by Del Croix. Eh, no, actually, it went wide. We'll take that. Waste the time, blow the whistle, blow the whistle, anytime, or not. There it is. Or nothing, a big win to end the season. We've got to take some, pre, some pride out of that, some definite pride. Outstretched arms, really special, and a seventh place finish. Oh, look at that goal differential that Venlo has. Oh, that is so disappointing. So we will be in the playoffs. I guess we'll we'll come back for that. Let's see. Thielman's, yeah, this guy, he's a youngster. Um, he He's missed three training, and he's shocked that I find him. Whatever. Grant Thielman's, he's only going to miss a couple of days. He's only going to miss a couple of days. Bacario... I guess with the playoffs, he gets one more shot at the uh, at his bonus. Eleven hours. I'm not going to praise him for that. All right, so we will be in the playoffs. Vitesse will not be taking it. So let's see what that does. So does that mean all the way down to AZ will be in the playoffs? I think so. So it should be fifth through eighth. But they're already in. So now I believe it'll be 5th through ninth, And that will be, it'll be a couple of weeks. So we'll come back for the playoffs. Uh, so we'll look for that next episode. We'll get one more video for this season. Uh, let's take a quick look at the squad just to catch you guys up. 24 goals for Cario, 14 for Natumba, 7 for Gerber. And then he wants to leave. Uh, salaries expiring, Schroeder's leaving, Hossick's leaving. They're the only contracts up this season, at the end of this season, so they're the only players leaving. But then we can look at the guys that just didn't have a lot of playing time. Vanderhorst, we just called him back from loan, so that was his debut. Those guys are leaving. He's a reserve keeper. So basically starting here at Elena all the way you know down to Shedahull, I have to make you know probably Shedahull, maybe even Banachek. I've got to make some decisions on them. I think Shedahull could leave Nemeth. I think he could leave Sakalo. I got a good offer on him last year. Uh Thielmans is not leaving. Thielmans I want to be in the mix and He's right-footed. I want to start training him maybe on that left side to be an inverted winger on that side. He's not going anywhere. Oh, man. A lot of decisions. A lot of decisions. Well, guys, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell to make sure you get daily reminders for our daily Football Manager content. Two different series going up. Every other day, alternating days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday for this series. And our Journeyman Save goes up Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 8 a.m. Central Time in the United States. If you're across the pond, that's 2 p.m. London time. So keep an eye out for that. And we'll see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.